Warning. Warning, ladies, we're now adding this to the podcast because we just did our podcast. We're not going to say- And I feel lightheaded. So be warned that everything we talk about is kind of gross. Some gross stuff. Some we're, medical stuff. Some it's medical a little stuff. Bit gross. Maybe your kids are going to handle it. Uh, I certainly am not. So we're going to talk about rashes. We're going to talk about skin stuff. We're going to talk about pus. So if that makes you lightheaded, don't drive while you listen to yeah. this and probably don't listen with a loved one because you will not. Get love them on. anymore yeah and i i think we actually swear less than we normally do we it's really just, do it's just kind of some gross stuff jen so. in particularly is really into this and gets real gross you're welcome i just have the gross stuff Hello, are we rolling? Are we podcasting? Are we podcasting? I think that we're podcasting. I think we're podcasting. We're sitting in a new position. In a totally new position. Hopefully it is a flattering position, but it currently does not feel like it. I feel like any position I'm in is probably unflattering. So uh, thanks for coming and listening to the Hashtag I Mom So Hard podcast. We're excited. You can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. Is that what we're supposed to say? I don't know. I don't you, know. I just panicked. I forgot. You said I, it like <coughs> she goes in for business. <coughs> she goes in for some business, and I was like, "Oh, crud! I forgot about Sorry. that part." Sorry yeah. for coughing. Can we take that out? Everyone's gonna think I have COVID. She doesn't. You guys get off her back. I just have post nasal drip and a bad attitude. That still exists, you guys. Yes. It's still a thing. Guys, before COVID, we all had allergies and we were like, hey, how are your allergies? And everyone's like, I'm dying right now. But now we're like, cough. I don't, <laughs> I I don't, don't cough. I don't cough. Who coughs? I Only don't people have cough. with COVID, not, and yeah. that's not me. And then you're in the line at the grocery store and you're like, oh, I have a tickle in my throat. Then you start thinking about it. Then you start going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just immediately put my face into my shirt. Yeah. Everybody needs to calm down. And then they're like, sorry, ma'am, we can see your stomach, your muffin top over those. And I'm like, well, well I don't have COVID. You're not going to die. I don't have abs a- either, but. Yeah. You're not going to die of a muffin top, anybody. Yeah. You're all going to be Ready fine. Go. You know what else we have to say is uh, mm-hmm. go to our website and get tickets for I Mom So Hard Live. That's right. We're getting ready to go back on the road. I'm very excited. We get to go to some really cool places. Yeah. Like Modesto. Oh, and that's, uh, yeah, that's new. Santa Rosa, which we've been before, that was the famous tailgating party of 2018. That's yep. Uh, yeah. We the quinoa the tailgate. quinoa tailgate. Like, leave it to ladies in the wine region to get a tailgate. So right, it was astonishing. Um, we're going to uh, Seattle. Seattle. We're going to Eugene, Oregon. We're going to Ridge Texas. Field, Washington. Texas. You've been asking. We're telling you, we're going to Austin and we're going to Dallas, and that's. Right now, all we have. Right now, that's that, all, we, all have. we can get into. Right now, this is Texas. very interesting about Texas, which is it's similar to California, where you could be doing a show at your neighbor's house. We yeah. could be at your neighbor's house, and you all would be like, "Can, can you, you do, do it, it in at my bathroom my house?" Yeah, yeah. So you might have to drive a little bit, but I that's know. just how it goes. Yeah, and uh, if we were like Alabama or Eddie Rabbit, you would drive to see them. Oh man, I, think I would all drive those to people see them. Are, Eddie Rabbit might be, especially if that was. Is he done? Maybe. Don't say that. I well, he would be a hundred years old. He'd still be hot. And he'd still be wearing that leather jacket, God and I'd it. still be dreaming about him. Oh, I, I too love guy. a rainy night. Um, it's a song in Casey, this heart what of else mine. is it that we have? Oh, Durant, yeah. Durant, Oklahoma. No, we're saying it right, wrong. Durant, Durant, Durant. No, Durant. you're saying it wrong because you're from Texas, it's not and Durant. then you make everybody it's bad. Durant. Like Durant, Durant, <laughs> Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Now, now, literally, that's when everybody stops listening. They're like, fine. You assholes were fine until you made fun of Duran Duran. Now you've talked about Eddie Rabbit and Duran Duran. In the same sentence, literally. You grandmas. You 100-year-old broads. <laughs> uh, not, it's not so much that we we love Eddie Rabbit. We just loved being, what, six? Yeah. That was fun. When it would rain, I really would put on my little uh, Fisher Price album and I would listen to that. My that just got there. weird and creepy. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, I see you like putting lipstick on. It's like a little girl. Well, I love a rainy night. Still do it, you guys. I love a rainy night. I love to hear the thunder. Watch, Watch the, the lightning as it lights up, up the sky. sky. <laughs> No, it makes me feel good. Yeah, you you don't know what we're talking about, you youngins. Uh, you don't know. Oh man! And I if can... you do know, welcome to the party. Yeah, it's a good jam. Um, it'll end up in a movie. You'll get it. Hell yes, it will. It'll end up back in like Stranger Things. 
Oh, God, are you watching it? No, but oh. I know all the music that gets okay. revamped because of it. And I mean, I have terrible breath. We I, need, s- I need help. I can't smell it. If you're no, saying that no, for my No, I'm sake, saying that for you, but trouble. I'm saying that for me because I can, I, I'm, the mic's kicking it back to me and I'm, I'm upset at my choices. I yeah. don't, uh, I don't have a mint with Well, it. your husband some, always has Ricolas. There's some lavender oil up there. I think fine, that might. It's no. fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm not going to let you put essential oils in your mouth, no matter how bad it gets. Kristen. Isn't that, wouldn't I be cured of everything? Because oh, yeah. everybody loves Speaking essential it, oils. We're going to cure your COVID, COVID with <laughs> an essential oil. Bullshit in this dream catcher. Literally, my mom's like, you have no idea how powerful they are. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah. I have cousins that sell them, I know. Uh, hey, I own them, so I don't I know. know what I'm it's talking fine. about. I'm, I'm fine. not giving I'm fine. anybody a hard time. Um, Sexy we- topic that we have today. Oh, yeah, but... It's it's real. It's real. You guys it's on everybody's mind. Here's something they don't tell you when you have kids. Your kid is going to have one million rashes that are mind-boggling and weird and slightly gross. And you are shocked that any of us walk around with regular skin ever. I mean, I understand like a breakout, like a pimple. Yeah. But the fact that like any of us have patches of skin that don't have weird shit on them is a miracle. It's a modern miracle. They also, from the time they pop out of your body, they come at such a rapid clip. Like their skin is... I mean, Everything's like, catching up to the game. Yeah. It's in its... I Delilah got when she was five or six weeks old and um, Dash did not get this like a prickly heat rash and I was freaked out because our air conditioner was broken like right after she was born I was like this baby's overheating she's got like oh she's got the chicken skin yeah well there's a there's because there's a whole that, there's cradle cap which if you're oh a parent God. you like you're like why does my kid have more dandruff than like a 65 year old like curly haired my mob boss kids like still get it like totally we, between my husband's skin problems and mine those Same. kids are really screwed now listen i come to the table with a lot of problems but skin problems were not like my main issue and my husband has like weird peely <laughs> skin shit he's got warts that guy's he's just got, got an ongoing appointment with a dermatologist seriously, he has a d- dermatologist who is like this super sweet indian man who stands about five foot two and my husband is six foot two Aww. so this doctor literally just like like walks along colin's back and is finding all the moles and doing like a mapping of Body all the check mo- yeah. always biopsying shit i am telling you so our kids now, well, first of all, you just handle it when you're a parent. You're like, oh, this comes with the territory. Territory. This is new baby shit, like cradle cap. and Some of it's nothing. That's Some of it's with- nothing. It's Aquaphor will fix it. Yeah, or- when Delilah got that uh, that rash and I was freaked yeah, out, like it's, texting it's called the, something. the it's doctor. Called, um, oh, I know what it is. It's keratosis pilaris. It's chicken skin. Oh, I got that also when I was pregnant, which was awesome. See? I, it, and she gets it and because you can't take anything for it. I no, just was like peeling off this weird. And your body's supplement. creating its own immune. Yeah, you, it's like well, because your skin is part of your immune system, so that's why. It, like, this is truly my wheelhouse. Because when I sold dermatology drugs, I had to learn all about the atopic march. And well, because Finn has allergies, right? Not skin allergies, just like but, but regular it, allergies. It's all related though, because it's all your immune system. So first, kids get food allergies, <sighs> and then they get skin allergies and then they get rhinitis which lasts like most of your life so usually like you grow out of the earlier ones i don't but- know about all of that all i know is we're going to dermatologists all the time i, I thought dermatologists did botox and dealt with warts once in a while i didn't know how much they it's had so to actually much. do they gotta know shit like any the thing that delilah had it's just they just call it a five to six week rash it's just when babies are like five to oh, six my weeks favorite old, is this. they just get it but dash didn't get it so it, here's my favorite like, name of this? that fourth disease. There's a fourth disease. Well, I don't know what the first, There's second, a, or third. Right, is even. that's what I'm like. They're neither do they. They're like they're just c- accumulatively call them one, two, and three. But there's fourth disease. There's fifth disease, which lo- they call it um, slapped disease. Slap oh, rash. slap cheek. Slap cheek rash. Yeah. There's sixth disease, which has the longest titles of shit. I don't even know how to say them. It's like, disease. I don't like them calling it a disease either. Can we just call it a condition? Cause Whatever. Because it's, it's, I mean, I know that's I'm what calling they call it, it, but it I'm feels like. I'm calling it $39.95 at CVS is what I'm calling it. I'm calling it another ointment I got to deal with. My, my son, listen, I'm not sharing his, yes, I'm going to share his, his medical thing. And the only reason I'm. 
going to share it is because just like hey, with head lice, I always share it after paper. the fact. <laughs> oh, I, get, I, I have a story about that right. later, you guys. Listen, here's my theory on lice. You don't tell anybody you have it. You tell everybody you got rid of it. So then you don't have it anymore. That's how you deal with lice. So that is how I'm dealing with his breakout in his armpit oh. called, hold on, molluscum contagiosum. And it, evidently what it is, is some kid gave it to him because everything is contagious. And they gave it to him and it was like an outbreak of warts in his armpit. Ooh. Now, I would like to tell you <laughs> That's, what uh, will clear ooh. out a pool. <laughs> At a casino when you take your kids to Reno and you go to the casino pool and your kid bought, like jumps into the pool but has his arms in the air and there's a breakout under his armpit. Literally Ooh. everybody got out and left and I was like, I didn't like the likes all of you anyway. Yeah. I don't yeah. need you guys making out that's in front why... of my kids while I brought them to a casino. Oh, God. Lot, so uh, he's – that's gone. in the butt cheek swimsuits in the right. pool. Right. Two of yeah. those. Yeah. Finn was – I just can't deal with that and his armpit. So he had to have that burned off. He also had to do this topical and then this other ointment. We bet now it's gone and he'll build, he now has an immunity. Mm -hmm. So he should be fine. But I'm wondering like, who the hell gave it to you? And how'd you get it in your armpit? You should not be rubbing armpits with other kids. That's right. Kids. I don't understand what and you're they doing. Don't, and nobody tells you anything. My son, you want to know how my son told me he had it? He <laughs> goes, mom. I have a third nipple. And I was like, what? He goes, no, I would have I, noticed. I would have noticed by Jen, now. Jen, fine. But it no, did I'm look like a third nipple. Yes, I would have. But there was just this weird little bump. And what do I do? Because I'm a mom. I am one inch away and I am looking at it and I'm feeling it. And I'm like probably like rubbing my own armpit. And yeah. Have, and we take him to the doctor. And he's like highly contagious. Ooh. But now we're in front of it. I'm like, do I got to make any calls? And I'm like, Nope, head lice, head lice supplies. <laughs> Number one, you don't know, call until are, after you've, you've kicked it. They're just like a petri dish, specifically the armpits. It's wow, the perfect what, environment. It's so gross. Heat, moisture, God. bacteria. It's like a, it's like its own super fauna in there. It's so disgusting. My son, uh, I'm not bragging, and I definitely am breaking HIPAA violations. <laughs> um, we're such a sweaty clan that he got uh, when he was like three, mind you, maybe two. Got um, athlete's foot. I was just going to talk about that. From his Crocs that then moved to his <laughs> armpits. And I was like, what? He had these like rings yep. in his armpits yep. that I was like, what in God's name is this? Like, we had to put all these like steroids and stuff like that on it. And the doctor was like, well, I think you have a child that cannot wear Crocs. And I'm like, God, please put the word out to everybody. Let's just be. <laughs> Let's just be Let's done just... with them in general. Can we just be done with Crocs? It's funny you say that because Eleanor <laughs> Eleanor got her picture taken yesterday for a school event. And she was sitting in the chair. And I said, she has this white dot on her forehead. I don't know if she like picked a scab and then she tans so quickly. But it was this white, little white thing right in the middle of her forehead. And the photographer goes... You know, I've been uh, working with kids for a long time, and when I see this, I've learned it's generally a fungus. He goes, I'm not a dermatologist. <laughs> I go, what? And so we, sure enough, we call our favorite friend and the guy we bought his yacht, our yep. dermatologist, and he's like, I can't diagnose it over the phone, but it sounds to me like she has athlete's foot on her forehead. <laughs> so I said, wow. I yeah. go, you guys, if you're going to call it athlete's foot call an athlete's foot but could be anywhere on your freaking body please how do we i don't understand there are can, so can many they call it athlete's face that athlete's like, face yeah, athlete something. and then when you get athlete's foot in your crotch it's jock itch okay Gross. but what is swimmer's toe is that is that that's just because foot? your swimmer's toe is peeling. generally your peel oh, okay. your skin wilts inside of the water and then you you're um using your feet on on the bottom of the pool and then you'll get swimmer's toe which is just like a blister coming open because let's let's be honest and just say what what it is that's doing all of this it's the fucking bounce houses of the world is they, it? I think it is. It's also Crocs. Crocs are just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, they wear the Crocs, they take them off, they get into the bounce I, house, and then they bounce on their face, and they get 
Or on infant, or face. or what's the what's the ringworm one? Infantigo? Am I saying that? In Batago? Yeah. Uh, oh, that one. That by one the way, looks nasty. somebody needs to talk about that. Did you know that if you get ringworm in your hair, you will not grow hair there? Oh. I need everybody to understand that what we're dealing with is not a small amount of crap. Oh God! It is in. It's it's, it's so a, disgusting. Why does no one tell you? I have two stories about this. Oh, gross. one is. Uh, don't let me forget because the other one is. Very real. It's about your hair, but the other one is that when my husband and I started dating, um, a couple months he in, he went to a bounce house. He was wearing Crocs. Well, you would think, but he <laughs> he goes to New York on this trip, and he's staying at his friend Harry's house. And Harry's got three kids, and he sleeps on the couch. Oh God! So he Did comes. See? He comes back, and he's really itchy, you know. And he's like, oh, he's like. Maybe it's lice. You know, they have kids. He's like, where where I grew up, everybody had lice. Everybody had lice and eye patches where he grew up. I mean, <laughs> and, and very into like Chevy Suburbans. I don't pay a lot of attention to what Chevy he says, Suburbans but this is all that, like, are a, a bounce house on wheels. They are basically, giant. Basically, it's just like a giant sofa. Yeah, you know, you're you can get ringworm. You're gonna get also you can, you can, uh, several in STDs. Yeah, one when in a Chevy yeah. Suburban. Yeah. You can literally like have a full makeout session in the back of a Suburban and not like. Cramp your Even, feet. You're, I you are sit fully, up fully. I won't yeah, hit you're the like, ceiling. Yeah. You could put your hands in your feet out and you'd be fine. All kind. You can you can do most yoga poses in a Chevy Suburban. Well, I don't I know think. what you're doing. I was well, just I do. laying well, down. Back was in my easier. day. Anyways, he comes back and he's itching all over and oh, for a no. couple of days, like trying to figure out what it is. And then we're at my house watching TV and he's like, what do you think this um, quarter sized round uh, ring uh. on my shin is? And I'm like, ringworm, you it's idiot. Get on my couch. He got ringworm from their house and they're not dirty people whatsoever. God, they're just that's kids. the thing. Let's just be clear. Like, Kate Middleton is dealing with this. Every, Every single human that has be- a child has a kid with some weird disease. It's the most humbling. It is. Do you want to know how many people we gave hand, foot, mouth to? Hand, foot, mouth disease Hold to? Hold on, let me tell you. Hold no, on. Sh- one birthday party. Once again, a bounce house, yes. Un- un- unknown, unbeknownst to us. Unbeknownst. That's how it happened with lice, too. Listen. Kristen called <laughs> me after said <laughs> birthday <laughs> party and was like, hey, curious. <laughs> Are your kids feeling okay? Uh, I'm on the way to the doctor. Both my kids have fevers. And um, weirdly, they have spots all over their hands, feet, and mouth. It's so weird. Do you by chance happen to know what hand, foot, mouth disease looks like? So they had it. But but to your credit, I didn't know what it looked like either. I think I gave you a bunch of advice on anthrax, which is foot and mouth right. disease. Foot That's mouth very different. Very, very you different. get it from cattle and like flies or something. I go so. to the doctor. Not the banned anthrax, by the way, the like South American. The actual virus. The virus. Yeah. yeah. I went to the doctor. This is our second. This, no. Finn was 13 months old. We had just gone to Jen's house. We gave everybody hand, foot, mouth disease. <laughs> um, we gave everybody. I think there's single guys that left there going, who did I make out with? What the fuck? And I was like, you were near a toddler. And they are scarier get, than any yeah. like biker bar you will ever go to. You no. will get more from being in a play school than you would ever get from being in a bar. You can, 100%. You can come unscathed from a, a, a buffet at a strip club. 100%. But you cannot walk into a nope. daycare without coming You go coming into one of those something. mall play areas, you're coming out with something. Something, You're yeah. going to the derm. You're going to the doctor. You're going to something. So when I got to the doctor and I was like... I go, hey, doc, we just went to this hotel in Newport Beach. Um, my son isn't feeling good. I'm not feeling good. What What do you think it is? And she goes, oh, he definitely has hand, foot, mouth disease. And I was like, again? And then I go, well, I don't feel good. And she goes, oh, no, you have it too. There's no way you don't, right? And then I found out that I also had um, a pregnancy. So Ooh. I had um fornicated with my husband in this said Newport Beach hotel. You just had an itch that you had and to scratch. I definitely had an itch that I had to scratch. I just didn't know it was a topical rash. Yeah. And so then we, we I came away with um, 
a high fever, a rash, a pregnancy, some That's, question marks. I have heard it really hurts. It was terrible. For adults. For it's adults, different... it's the worst. It was two weeks for me. Back of my mouth felt like it was closing Ooh. off. My inside of my mouth was terrible. My hands were terrible. Listen, I'm just saying that as a mother, you must have you, – you are going to get 1,000 things. Well, listen to this. Horrible. This is my second ringworm story. And oh, so boy. my mother-in-law, when she was – I mean, she's 83, I want to say. Mm-hmm. She um, was riding on – she lived in San Francisco – Riding on trains, they oh. they had like high back chairs, and she got ringworm. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be such a jerk she home after did, this. No, she got ringworm on the back of her head. Like now, what they do, they have these like paper things. Yeah, that, they that put makes over sense. Them. Now I'm gonna put them in my car. But they're like leather or vinyl now, so you can wipe them off, and it's not cloth because they oh, can get cloth. in the. They can live in the cloth that used to be on there. <clears throat> So she got it, and it was really bad. She lost all of her hair. And to get rid of it, they had to use this, like, light. This oh, is yeah. Like, she, yep, you guys, yep. so this is 75, 70 is some it years one of those, ago. The, the, it's either the, the blue light or the pink light that's hot. Well, this is, like, uh, this is probably, like, a light you like keep a UV French light. fries under. Yeah. Because like, it was so rudimentary. She got skin cancer on the back of oh. her head. My God. Like this... 10 years ago from the treatment. So she, the same thing happened again. She had to have her head shaved to to treat the can- – now, the good news, it's it's all gone because they just cut that, like, patch of skin out of the back of her head. and it's... Just from some fucker not having a clean yeah, head. From getting ringworm on a train. Nightmare. So we crazy. literally just gave everybody nightmares. I know. This is my fear. I've only given people hand, foot, mouth, and lice. I've never done – the ringworm thing – Outside of one time when I made out with a wrestler on a wrestling mat and I got in on my cheek, that was not my That's fault. That was say. because I was in the midst of passion. That could be the dirtiest place is a wrestling room, like yeah, a wrestling mat. Yeah. They come out with like, that's my biggest fear, staff. I don't even want to breathe the air in a wrestling I'm, room. It's a I, staff infection. I'm lucky I didn't get staff. <laughs> You're, well, yeah. Not, staff or a pregnancy, pregnancy on that on one. Pregnancy on that one, yeah. I know. Yeah, Could have gone either way. Dodged, dodged a bullet, well, if we, you know what I mean. We ha- oh, we please let my husband listen to this episode. What am I kidding? He's never he listened won't. to any he's, of them. I don't even think my husband knows we do a podcast. Yeah, he's like, you just go hang out with Jen and talk. Yep. I could technically, but shut up. Well, uh, I uh, got a phone call several years ago. We've not... Knock on wood, had lice, but I have gotten this phone call twice from the same person telling me, um, so you might have been exposed <laughs> to head lice, and that same person was Kristen. And oh both times, man, both times, both times. My daughter's first time in a in a salon chair was to get a lice check. I have never cried harder. It was my first experience. And like, yeah, Finn has the thickest courses. Oh my gosh. Like he could have lice and not spread them because they would just go, we're fine here. We're, we're just so happy here. We're so buried down deep. And he had this big room of Clanahan perm. So I was like, <laughs> I. It wasn't a perm. It was just a he's natural, like beautiful <laughs> Brady man perm. And I'm oh. like, what's going on with you? So his school had a total outbreak. Yeah. He, he gave it to all of his teachers. Their jury TBD, who patient zero is. You guys, he's a hugger. The good and the bad. He's it's a, a real hugger. hippy-dippy yeah. school. <laughs> so they we have to go to this lice doctor, which, by the way, I need to open one of those places. Lot of, it's lot like of 400 money. bucks. What? $400 all in. But, well, because I had to have all three of us checked. Can you leave them there for a couple of weeks? And t- but you had to come home and like clean all the stuff too, right? Or what? Not only clean, throw everything away. <gasps> because I would rather the workload alone yeah. to keep everything was more expensive than take going to like Home Goods and buying a new set of sheets. Because I'm never going to sleep at night thinking I have the same sheets there. No, I'm itching right now. My husband bought a used bed when we were first dating from a hotel. Everything about that screams Hold like on. a bad idea. I'm back sorry. Up, back up. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to redo my tears, okay? So okay. I think it goes um, hotel bed, <laughs> daycare, wrestling mat, um, train seat. What am I missing? Uh, a buffet at a dance club. And a bounce house. And a bounce house. That literally was how I met my husband. All of those things were in play. 
But why didn't you guys just buy a bounce house? I don't know why we didn't just buy a bounce house. He heard about this sale. It was you Chevy who told us. Suburb. Well, I know I didn't say go buy a bed. I That's said go buy he, champagne flutes. He goes, she goes, there is a hotel selling furniture. And I know Colin just moved into his apartment. We had just started dating. And he moved into a one-bedroom apartment. She's like, they're selling all this stuff. I'm like, Jen, so they're selling all this stuff. Colin goes and buys a bed. Well, okay, I meant I meant bed frame. You, I gotta be do clear. Do you I know bed. my husband? So he went and bought a bed frame, and I woke up in the middle of the night. My I'm like my my chest is feels like I was playing on like um like furniture at a or what do you call it when you playground and it's like um rash uh, no but it feels like you're getting little little needles in your skin what's it called um fiberglass like oh, I rubbed oh, in yeah. fiberglass somewhere and I was like I don't know where we well I mean I know we're passionate right now and really into each other but i haven't that rolled around on suburban carpet that's a little rough i mean i got ringworm for sure but then i oh i pulled up my shirt and i just had an infestation of bug bites on my chest my husband still is convinced it was not the bed oh, would, still convinced because he didn't get the bud because he didn't get the bites he's convinced he didn't, I was like, because your body has had so many of these weird ass breakouts and rashes that you're impervious to them, but my delicate skin has not. And therefore they looked at me like I was a buffet at a strip club. I was so, it was so gross. I was like, guys, what do you think this is? And everyone was like, <laughs> gross. There, well, I, anybody, we're lucky, knock on wood, that we have not gotten as much as we travel that we have, because it is in oh nice my God. hotels and stuff. You're going to get it like Mama. anywhere. You yeah. can get it anywhere. Like, I when when I worked in dermatology, I remember walking into this uh, dermatology office, and everybody that worked there was like, looked like they'd just seen a ghost. And I was like, "What? What's up?" And they were like, the "Guy was just in here with scabies. Don't touch no! anything. W- sanitize your hands because you just touched it. Scabies like, is you a t- is can tough. get it from an elevator button. Now scabies, what is scabies? Scabies makes me feel like I want to barf a little it. bit. It's, it's generally it, it does no. have to do with a little bit of hygiene, doesn't it? It's mange. It's, it's human mange. mange. Yeah. It's so how does one prevent that? Do I have to wash my hair more? Um, you're pro- you have to get it from somebody. And so the weird thing is you can get it after they touch a thing. And then it, and then it's like a little mite, right? But, like it like it's yeah, it's pretty gnarly. It's like a microscopic mite. But the, I remember the dermatologist oh. telling me like, you gotta really be up against somebody like to, rubbing around yeah so Let that'd be a lesson to you take lysol to all of it i don't think you should wear a condom nope, i think I you mean, should wear saran wrap listen i was hand sanitizing before it was cool i'm i'm so grossed out by i'm so scared of staff and you know most of those zit popping videos are staff they're not yes Yo, they are no they're not they're, they're Mercer's staff no they're not they're they're not they're um what do you not Pustules, they're cysts they're cysts no but the Just ones that have, ooze, that have the white you're gonna make everyone want to gag you keep that between us. I looked at one video on no, TikTok, is. and she now a lot of them. no, I go to my own personal one to look at to it. look at them, and now mm-hmm. it's on our FYP they page come up on TikTok, and Instagram. Don't don't watch them. Then then no. it tells the thing that we're into. I'm interested. It. I want to <sighs> learn. I want to learn about. I don't. It, it's weird. I, I get like I sick learn. and turned on at the same time. I don't know what's happening. Most of them are MRSA staff. That's what they now, are. Now staff That's is because my. I know many people who've gotten staff. Remember? Oh, worst yeah, story ever. Worst story ever. True. Here, I'm not going to, I don't even know his name, but I'll just say, my husband's like, do you want to join a gym? I know where my husband's head is because he's the guy that got a free bed or a <laughs> cheap bed. I go, great. We're going to join this well known gym in LA that's real discount gym, if you know what I mean. Even me, who's not a germ phobe, I'm like, even I'm going to wear surgical gloves when I go there. And sure enough, some dude was at that gym and they don't wipe stuff down. Ew. And he had a little tiny cut on his finger and it blew into full-blown staff. And he yeah. was in the ER for three weeks. Yeah. it can Now go, I can't yeah. do the treadmill. You get it in your blood. It's systemic, which is what's scary. You can get it like... I think we're only gonna we're literally people are pulling over their cars right now and like sanitizing their state but i don't know a lot of you know how a lot of like uh weightlifters that do steroids that inject steroids they're not like using clean needles and stuff like that they get that's what those guys that have them on their shoulders and they go pop my zit disgusting jen that is not what i'm watching don't deface the thing that I'm watching. I know what you're watching. I watch little blackheads being popped around the lip, and that's it. And I think everybody can be on board with that. It is the most satisfying, kind of arousing, kind of upsetting, all in one, kind of the true crime of 
dermatology that you can experience and you're besmirching it with your gross bodybuilder story. I never watched one with a bodybuilder. In fact, it's people that don't do any exercise at all. (laughs) That you tend to watch. Hmm. It's somebody having beers in their garage and they're like, I got this thing. Oh, Can God. you help me? And it's disgusting. And Ooh. I'm, but that is not what this video is about or this podcast is about. We are not talking about my what? weird fetishes yet. Yeah. Let me get it back on the rail slightly because it, Another, like, this is a straight-up mom thing that I didn't know about until I worked in derm. And then I had, it's dermatology. The, we're Der- cool people we call, call it derm, you If guys. you're me and you're going all the time, we call it derm because I don't want to say dermatology because I don't have time for that the shit. The longer the word, the more expensive, expensive the thing is usually. But can we just go back to the point and say, let's get rid of Crocs? Okay, go ahead. Let's go back. Obviously, Crocs. I'm going to make a list of all the things we should just I don't want to get rid of bounce houses. Anymore. They're really fun. We just they need to great. sanitize them. You, there I'm is, kind of lightheaded. You could... Because we've been talking about gross stuff and sexy stuff. Well, you can. Casey's about to barf. She's like, I am going. I'm going to get on four pills. You know what, Casey? I know. but Don't be around our kids, man. You'll get warts in your armpit. You're going to get used to it. You might even get athlete's foot in your armpit. And that's easily. I have the stuff here. You don't even need to go in. You just take some lotrimin. We can treat it at the same time. We're not doctors. But I like to. Put a little dabble, do you? I think I was in a past life. Right. We have a drawer of ointments. And I'm like, take your pick. Same. Yeah. Whatever. Well, so this is this is a real, real deal thing that a lot because okay. a lot of kids, like I said, they you find out they have allergies with foods, like they're not digesting oh, stuff yeah. well. They get like GERD or something like that, and then it what it goes to the next thing is allergies on their skin. So they get eczema, and right, it's super, eczema's tough. It's super itchy, and then kids will itch themselves because it's this uncontrollable itching and then they get staff and it's this horrible what? cycle of like treating the staff and stuff so i had a friend who had a daughter who had it and it was like years of this of like trying to get this I kid know. like comfortable and stuff it's a whole deal it makes them like not get good sleep I it know. makes them like it unhappy makes me and depressed so it's like- sad we have a couple friends who have kids that have real issues with like psoriasis and eczema and it's so miserable but I do think there are like I have a friend who suffered from it as a kid it kind of lightened up a little bit after puberty and now as an adult he's able to manage it with a bunch of different because he's just been persistent and it did have to do with his diet it's not like that for everybody we're not minimizing it because that's a tough thing and if you like even Kim Kardashian has eczema and she talks about it and like you get these patches Mm -hmm. and it's embarrassing and like what I've come to learn now is, like, my mind has changed about all of this, that when I see somebody with that, like, on their skin, I no longer get grossed out. No. I go, of course. How did you – how did, How do we not all have giant outbreaks of shit when, like, your skin can literally invite 1,000 different diseases? And also, the trippiest thing, Eleanor has – uh like very reactive skin. She'll get like a bug bite and I'll get the size of like a baseball. It's pretty intense. So she, when she was a baby, broke out into hives head to toe. Head Mm, to toe. Yeah. And it was all over her. And I was like, oh God. So we take her to the doctor. He gives her, I think, uh, antihistamine. And he goes, what, uh, she eat anything new in the last three days? And I'm like, no, but no, no, but am I, I'll keep track now. And he's like, well, You'll never really know what caused these. Yeah. You never you'll never really know. I'm like, hold on a second. So like this isn't an allergy to strawberries or an allergy to whatever fruit snack she had. You're just telling me this could happen at any given time. And he's like, sure can. I I get hives too, even as an adult. And it's not Do you very- get them in the same place? Like No. So but Weird. you know where I've gotten them in the same place before is a, using a hair product that has something in it that I can literally feel. It feels like my hair on the top of my head like stands up on ends. And it's not just one thing that you've been able to identify no. what's in that shampoo? The, the one thing that I used was a dry, a powder shampoo that, oh, that did it. No! And it was like all pustules on the top of my head. And it was, I was crying. It itched so bad. Oh, like, I God, Jen. Why would you use a powder shampoo? It was new when it came out. And it was, Ugh. and it wasn't cheap. It was like supposed to be this great. See, that's why sometimes these like 
I don't know. I just stick to the shit that. And then another one was just like a um, leave-in moisturizer that, like, my whole top of my head was itchy, and I could spread my hair apart and just see like red, like everywhere. I feel terrible for you because that is misery. I have only reacted one time. We, I've had like five facials in my whole life, and four of them have been with Jen. And I, (laughs) I do love when we get to go. It's really fun. And we went to somewhere, and they used a product that was supposed to be like. Oil free is the way they designated it. It was oil free or something. So mm-hmm. that content, whatever makes oh. something oil free, is its own chemical. And she put it on my face, and I was like, "Ooh, this tinkles. It must be doing the work." And she goes, "Um, do you have any allergies?" And I'm like, "I think, uh, I think we've discovered one r- together. Um, is something happening?" She's like, "Yes, you are having a strong reaction to this." Um, face treatment we have to wash your face immediately like get you off the- I'm like I've got like the steam going in my hair yeah. and she's like dipping me like in a yeah. full bath and like like taking it off and I did I had like a like a pretty solid remember that when I had that like red yeah but she'd only done it across the top of my face so then I, I was good I think um there's there's this ingredient that they add to skincare and like stuff like that and I believe it's niacinamide and it's supposed to reduce um, a reaction in some people, but some people have the opposite. Like I'll have an opposite where it just stings like really bad wherever it yeah. was. And it might've been that. Might've been that. Who knows? I just think, again, I am, it's like the blindfold is off me and I'm like, I'm just shocked at how many things are out there that kids struggle with that moms are, you're getting tossed a new, new thing. It's not always repeating. It's not like, oh, here's another thing of eczema. Here's another thing of uh cradle cra- cradle cap you're like yeah jesus what the hell is this it's like green and it's got like a plaid color i don't understand i I do have to say it was very satisfying for me much like a zit popping video that when my kids had um cradle cap god that's a hard thing it's let's say it cradle cap 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 you can't say i can't do it it's just cradle crap when they had that thing another symptom of kids but that's a different yeah. end it's so what it is is like when you have dry it's basically um dandruff which my husband has it's combined su- with oily skin which i have and so then the oily skin like doesn't go away it like stays stuck in against your head and it's, i've like, heard the cradle, <laughs> cradle crap cradle crap cradle crap cradle crap cradle crap i've heard that cradle cap is also because the baby is like exp- is like getting rid of your home hormones for oh. being in your, in, you so know, like oily. So there's like I stuff coming out there, expelling it from their own skin. So they'll get cradle cap and it, it's, oh my God, Finn got it. And um, we thought we would do a little home remedy before we actually talk to a doctor because we're those people. And so we, my husband put his entire head in aquaphor and my son has very tight, curly hair. He has a very curly hair. Yeah. And that's. Um, and you put aquaphor in it. And then it's. A Lionel luscious. Richie from yeah. 1985. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> to me you're looking for. Uh, so please get rid of the Crocs. What will work on um, cradle cap, cap is uh, you put olive oil all over their head and let it soak in, and it's easiest if you can do it while they're like kind of asleep. And then you just take a comb, and then Aww. you can like kind of get it. <gasps> underneath it god and you bless. oh god it's and so Jesus satisfying Christ. the bigger piece you get the more you're god like high-fiving yourself oh, darn it. casey just went down god. to one knee right now she's <laughs> holding herself up i little... wrap this up. hope we... nobody's driving right now god can we oh. stop no, there's I... two kinds of people in the world right now there's two kinds of people there's somebody fanning themselves because they are about to barf and the other kind are fanning themselves because they are about to orgasm yeah they're so there are two they're, they're googling two cradle different... cap videos yeah they're they're two different worlds and i understand because somewhere i walk the line in the middle but i do feel lightheaded this is well, grossing let me, me out let me tell you something no else. jen it's, i don't know that i want you to tell it's us anything my hot, else. it's my hot flash okay thank god and if this, it has anything uh, to do with the skin disease i'm not gonna make it no it's it's sexy though it's okay. so sexy Ooh, okay yeah. This week's hot flash goes out to me. Woo! Let me tell you a little why, because my husband and I 
had date night last <gasps> week. We did. We went to a friend's play, and I was wearing this super nifty jumpsuit. Fun. That both Casey and Kristen recommended. And yes, might I say, and I got, your friend Andrea. Who, yes. Yes. Got so many compliments on it. Oh, good. I really I just did. Got like, so excited. Look. I, like <clears throat> a lot of guys gave me compliments yeah. on it, like at the restaurant. It yeah. Was, so because you look cute, you, but you also look like you could change a tire, and on some level, that's intimidating and hot to hot. a dude. I think so. I, I think, think so. so. So, um, I we went to dinner. We went and got sushi before we go to the Ew, play. Are you going to tell me you guys banged? Gross. No. Okay. I'm not going to tell you that at all. Um, we did not. I'll just like just say hey, no man, worry day and night counts. Okay, good because I just. Uh, we went and got sushi. And Fun. It's had sugar a fish. glass of wine. Yeah. You love that place. I love it. And then we're like uh, getting ready to go to the theater to watch the play. And, you know, you wear a jumpsuit and it's a whole deal. To oh, get boy. The, um, yeah, boobies out when you go pee pee. The jumpsuit off. And it's also like one of those combo men's women's because it's a small restaurant. So I didn't want to sit down because talk about getting scabies or something from a toilet seat. I'm not sitting where. See, and I'm men, just, I'm, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a trusting, I just sit down. I'm not touching anything. I, I'm covering. I'm working abs. I don't Absolutely have, not. I don't wanna, I'm comfortable. But I, I don't also, care. I'll give it to the next person. I'll be the part. I'll be, I'll be the problem. Yeah, well, that's I don't want to go in after you. I guess well, there then. you go. My, she, but you know it's going to be warm. She's drug her butt on so many. So many. She goes straight from gym, <laughs> the wrestling mat, straight to t- public toilet seat. No, do not pass go. She's going right this back. This is and forth. why I'm healthy. But I also have a really weak pelvic floor, which oh, does no. this thing where I, I was hovering and I was peeing and then I was done. This is TMI. I got a wipe, and I'm all done. And then I do that thing where I keep peeing, and yep. I don't even You're, know that I'm peeing. You don't know that you're not done. And I peed all over the neck of my jumpsuit. Jump but at least your hair covers it. That is the only good thing that happened. Because I was like, I just did that. I'm so old. I just peed on it. And I'm trying to pull it up. Like, where is it? I'm looking in the mirror and oh, stuff. No. And I feel it warm on the back of my neck. Kristen. I think that was lucky. Well, Honestly, if there's somewhere you're going to end up peeing, you want it on your neckline. How, how do you get to the place in life where you pee on your collar, your own collar, because you don't have control of your body? I just came and in here and like, talked about my kid having warts in his armpit. I think we all can agree I'm not doing great. Luckily, I brought one of those like sample spritzer perfume things and sprayed it around my neck because I was like, it's a date night. I haven't been on one in like three years. I don't have urine smell. I don't think my husband would care, and I don't think your husband would care. I don't think he, he would, would just care. be happy to see your neck wet, full of pee or not. So I say bravo, <laughs> bravo to you, lady. Good for going Felt on a d- really date hot. night. I haven't gone on a date night in so long. And it I was need fun. To. It was it was definitely needed. You yeah. needed it. Yeah, you guys hadn't I done that in a long time. Need the insult of peeing on myself, but you know that's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's gonna and happen. there you go. Let's go to a mom box, shall okay. we? Okay. Oh, God, you guys, this one, this one. I just have so many things to say to this husband. I I want to say, like, sir, do you, is this your first rodeo? Here we uh-oh, go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So I'm going to put on my. Is this a husband fail? It's kind that's of. A fun, that's a fun new. Tracy cap. DM'd us, and she said, and she sent pictures, and their text messaging is adorable between her and her husband. They use, like, picture emojis and stuff. You know what my husband and I use? The thumbs up emoji. And I told my husband, if I send you a thumbs up emoji, you can assume I'm sending you a, a yes with an attitude. Just know. Oh, this okay. I'm going to note that too. That's not what I do to you ever. I'm always like, a party hat. I do, I do feel a little bit when you just, when you click on the text and do the thumbs up as one of the given reactions, you know, how you can do ha ha or. Yeah, or an exclamation point. Yeah. Sometimes you do a thumbs up. I feel a little bad about that, but but I'm that just means. Did I'm I do a, it? No, I when just, I do it to somebody okay. else. Because I, like, I do it when I'm like, when you're like, do you like this picture or this picture? Heart, I'll like, yep, that one. But still, that's, I'll put a heart generally because yes, I know you've got feelings. I know. that's. But I told my listen, husband, husbands. Okay. let this be known in a thumbs up emoji. And by the way, if you send that to me, I also say it that you're being curt. That's right. You send an, just an eggplant emoji, you're going to get a thumbs down. And I mean thumbs it, down. curt. And I'm going to th- show a foot and then a broken eggplant. Here we go. Today's podcast was phenomenal. I have advice for husbands. Don't buy your wife a bikini trimmer for Mother's no, Day. No! For Mother's Day? Tell me she's 
she didn't open that it's oh, Sue Plantation brunch. God. Oh, my God. And if she did, I hope she just let the entire restaurant have it. I hope she just was like, everybody, I need your attention. My husband bought me a bikini trimmer. Like, yeah. you, husband? Yeah. I don't care if that stuff is hanging out over and shaking hands with the other side. You don't <laughs> say shit about it. Nope. If she nope. wants to grow out her boosh to uh, yeah. like mass proportions, top. you yeah. fucking let her. And don't say anything. And you should just be happy to cross in to that area anyway. You know what? As far some, as I'm concerned. Some, uh, some ladies are working with like a whole head of broccoli after kids because yeah. your hormones change. Your hormones you change. It grows faster than anything you know. Trust me, and I'm somebody not... that can speak to this. My husband one time was like, you know you can get it waxed, right? And I was like, you know you can go fuck right off, right? Like, yeah. I was like not yeah. happy about I it. Don't... I don't want you to tell me. Yeah, of course I know I can get it waxed. I also know I bleed out. That's, I mean, I honestly, I don't think it's any worse than going like, why don't you go get your chin waxed, husband? Because that's a lot of hair, and it's the same kind of hair, and it's a sensitive spot. Right. Or I would say, sir, let's let's just remember, sure. Maybe things are overgrown for me there, but it's not like everything isn't jingle jangling down there. Yeah, you want to borrow the, this for the your elasticity back or your... of your man region has changed over time. I say nothing. Now, this husband that you're talking about, you're talking about the one with the skin tags no. in his armpits, right? Yeah, that's, that's my who, husband. Okay, so don't who, who uh, don't be talking about her say. bikini line. Another thing, skin tags. There we go. Gross. That makes me want to burp. Uh, thank God for our dermatologist. Yep. Okay, so this was one of the. Man, this husband, he's just like trying so hard. He's like texting her like apology um, like kind of like okay. um I got us dinner. Oh uh, I'm no. Sorry. Like he's doing this and then he goes, "By the way, I think this is from him, right? The gray?" Yeah. He's like, "By the way, the trimmer had nothing to do with what I may or may not think about your area. I don't even notice that. It's all you. I got it cuz you said you wanted it. It, it. Now now you feel bad." And mm. she's like, "I mean, this guy you can just see him. He's Digging like, out let of a me hole. back, pedal, let yeah, me back. Yeah, get, but you're getting a shovel buddy, for uh, yeah, Father's Jesus, Day so you can dig out of these situations. You know what? Situations. You just need to excuse yourself and go, I fucked up. I'm going to the jewelry store real quick. Ooh, just, that's uh, a good way to just, do it. Just just ex don't send any more. Um, <laughs> then he sends the last one. This is the most well-groomed man. She has done a oh, good job. His last text is, Okay, now we start the healing process. <laughs> I get it. No uh, no good deed. Don't yeah. be the one that buys the bikini trimmer. Don't be that person. Yeah. Be be oh, that's a slippery slope and I mean that in not the bush sense, but don't don't buy well, stuff, don't buy exercise you know equipment. Get a get a bikini trimmer if you're looking for a slippery slope. Otherwise, right. just But uh, let her buy her own Tree yeah. trimmer. You know what? Get her a, a a gift card to Ulta, maybe. Smart. And then she can get what she wants. Smart. Do that. My husband would never think about that. But I think my husband's fine or accepts that I'm also never going to use a bikini trimmer. I might be fine with it just running amok. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just podcasted. Did we podcast? We just podcasted. Thank you. Okay, bye.